folks, it's Mike. Uh, I'm back. It's been a little while, but uh, with all the COVID restrictions going on, uh, it's been kind of difficult to actually go out and actually do anything, really. Um, but um, I'm back. I'm actually back at Pinawa uh, Provincial Park. Uh, it's a nice sunny day. It's, uh, you know, it's warm, the kind of way that I like it, and uh, just out having some fun. Don't worry about that duck there. Uh, she was perfectly fine, just uh, enjoying the water, really. Um, yeah. You know what would really make this day a lot better? Cold drink, nice chair to lounge on, and some suntan lotion. I should have brought some. Oh, feels so nice on my feet. It's nice and cool. I should have brought my uh, pizza shaped floaty. Ah yeah, well, next time. Pinot was a beautiful place, really, to come any time of year. Um, you know, I mean, like this time of year, it's, you know, basically summer. Um, got the water flowing all over the place. It just sounds lovely. It's very relaxing. Um, I, you know what, if, if I could just pull up like a, a hammock and just lay here for hours, I would. I suppose the only concern would be, uh, you know, sunburn, because it's, it's quite sunny and quite hot right now. Uh, I love it though. We'll say it's funny, the, uh, the last time I was actually in this specific area of uh, Pinawa, uh, I was actually doing uh, Milky Way uh, photography uh, late at night, uh, actually on this day uh, last year. Um, I had sort of this area lit up with uh, like a little light baton and, uh, you know, Milky Way kind of going like that. Although I will say with the, uh, the processing that I did with the Milky Way, it didn't turn out all that great. However, the foreground, I think, turned out pretty nice. You know, I'll probably show you in this photo here. I've been uh, taking a bunch of uh, long exposure shots uh, of these rapids slash waterfalls. I'm not sure exactly what technically you would want to call it, but uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Throwing on uh, my 10-stop uh, KNF concept, okay, whatever you want to call it, 10-stop uh, filter, uh, ND filter, um, and uh, hey, things come out smooth and I like it. What can I say? It's awesome. What you're seeing here is the uh, old dam spillway, which uh, is pretty tall. Uh, and uh, you know, when it was being used as an active uh, dam, and there was a lot of water flowing through it. Well, um, let's just say that my pizza-shaped floaty wouldn't have saved me. Um, I probably would have ended up between the rocks uh, and, or floating down the channel, you know, miles away.
So as you can see on the uh, other side of the dam wall, uh, there are a lot of uh, rocky paths around here. Uh, you know, got to make sure that you don't uh, trip and fall because uh, uh, I, I can't carry you back to the, uh, the car because I can barely carry all my camera gear on my back. So uh, yeah, don't, don't twist your ankles, please. It'd be really neat to get down there and really get a nice shot of that waterfall. But uh, that involves some swimming, and well, I can swim. Not well, but I can swim. Hey folks, I'm uh, back at Pinawa, uh, a little later than I was expecting. Um, when I originally made the video, uh, you know, back in mid-June, I was expecting to come back before the end of June. Well, it's more the end of September now, and uh, fall is here. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the uh, water's uh, a lot lower than it was in June, but, uh, you know, it's been a dry summer. Of course, this being late September, there are garter snakes around here. We did spot one. Where did he go? I want to get some photos of this little cute guy. Where are you, buddy? Dude, come on over here. I want to play with you. Here, snakey, 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 snakey. Here, dude. Oh, there we go. I think I see ya. Come on over here. Take you for a walk. All right. Uh, in this instance, I want to, you know, get some motion blur going on here. So I'm shooting about uh, one to per second F16 ISO 100. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's see how I want to compose this shot here. I like the water that's in front of me here. I do like the, uh, the waterfall that's out here. Beyond the bushes there, but you can't really see them from the bushes. So, let's see how we do this. I will say I've been to Pinawa several times before, but it's it's sometimes a little difficult to sort of pre-visualize because, it, you know, if you haven't been there in a while, you don't really know what the conditions are like in terms of, you know, wind and clouds and, 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 and water levels and such. There's only so much you can predict, uh, but make it the best of it. Shutter speed, so uh, I'm gonna throw on a uh, an ND filter here, uh, 10 stop. Um, that'll force me to uh, change my uh, shutter speed to something like only 10 seconds. And uh, you know, it's same effect as putting on sunglasses, not so bright. Of 
course, one thing I do have to remember when I'm at the water's edge here, there's plenty of, uh, I don't know, algae, seaweed, whatever. That stuff's slippery. Um, case in point, last year I was here about the same time, in, uh, you know, in September. Um, decided I wanted to cool my feet, took my shoes off, socks off, started stepping into the water, slipped, fell. Got my uh, phone wet. At least the phone was, wasn't harmed much. Although I did spend a night in uh, a bag of rice. But it was fine after that. Because as you can see, they're, they're not much there. Uh, not really much there. You got the rock, you got the forest, you got the grass down here. And you know, I'm, I'm standing at, uh, you know, usual height, five foot, you know, something. Uh, so kind of meh. However, you go down a little bit, you cut down on the mid-ground and it's not so bad. Don't get me wrong, it's, uh, I don't mind uh, freezing the action, but uh, I don't know, something about uh, getting a nice slow shutter speed where you kind of get uh, water looking smooth as glass. I don't know, I like it. So uh, last time I was here, out here in June, there were only a few, uh, few of these in Ukshuk. Um, they've apparently uh, grown in population over the last few months. Um, uh, I suppose if you know, Bob Barker were here, he'd say, you know, don't forget to spay or neuter your pet. I don't know, do we do that with a Ukshuk? I don't know. As you can see, the arboreal water snake here is struggling against the current going upstream uh, to uh, reach its food source of uh, water mice. Um, hopefully he can make it up uh, within the next couple of hours because, um, you know, it'll be dark. Anyway, on that note, uh, it's time to go home. I'm hungry, I want some food. And uh, I can always come back later. Of course, knowing my luck, it's gonna be three months later, which will be the end of December. Yeah. On that, on that note, uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks. Welcome to Manitoba's version of MTV Unplugged. It's Pinawa Unplugged. Yeah.
Hey folks, uh, sorry for uh, pausing the uh, the video here at this point. Um, should sort of explain that uh, when you know I gave my ending there a few seconds ago, I thought that was actually the end of uh, our day at uh, at Pinawa. Uh, turns out it wasn't. Um, we had uh, some friends that said they wanted to meet with us, but nothing was sort of set in stone. But uh, after we left uh, Pinawa Dam. Um, you know, my wife said, hey, let's go to Pinawa and meet up with him. So we did and uh, spent a couple hours uh, photographing stuff around the town and then uh, decided to uh, go to a spot uh, in the uh, the Pinawa Channel and uh, catch the uh, the sunset. And uh, boy, am I glad I did. I got some pretty good photos from uh, from there. And uh, wow, that's all I could say. Wow. Um I will say that I probably should have brought a snack, though, because I was, like, starving by the end of that. Uh, well. Anyway, back to the video. And unpause. Okay, what's going on here? I gotta pay $1.99 to unpause my own video? Really? <sighs> Fine. Uh, here, take a toonie, that'll do. Sheesh. So, uh, what I said uh, about uh, possibly coming back to Pinawa in December, well, I'm a couple minute, months late, but uh, yeah, um, although to be honest, I wasn't sort of all that serious when I said that, but I figured I probably should just get to it, because I haven't been here uh, in, the, in the winter, and boy is it a bit of a trek, because the uh, parking lot's closed, so I have to park out on the road. <sighs> So uh, I wanted to get down around there to sort of recreate the, uh, the shot that, you know, shown here that uh, I took back in June, but uh, snow's kind of deep, uh, past knee deep in some spots. So uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not going to recreate that shot. All right, uh, sadly the, uh, the garter snakes have, uh, are hibernating. They're not out here with, you know, wearing toques and scarves and, you know, sledding down the hills around here. You're sneaky, 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 sneaky. Nope, I think they're sleeping. Probably have some hot chocolate underground. 
It's a good plan. I don't think I'm going to do any kayaking down these, uh, you know, waterfalls right now. I'd get stuck. That'd be a bad thing right now. Uh, with all this rushing water, uh, I think it's time to uh, break out the uh, the ND filter. Get some smooth as glass water. Oh yeah. So, uh, as you can see, this is. Uh, that's a little bit of water. I mean, with all the uh, winter weather we've had, you know, minus 20, minus 30, really cold over the last month and a half, you'd almost figure this water would have been like completely frozen over. Nope. But uh, you know what? While this is a good composition right here, you know, where you've got uh, all the water in the middle there and got some trees and whatever, I figure, you know what? Let's flip the composition. Like that. Oh yeah. Hello, he's me, he's me, hi. Actually, maybe I should move the camera up a little bit. Yeah, that works a little bit better. Bathroom's open, yay! I can go to the bathroom now, yay! So it's uh, pretty tough going down uh, down the path here. I mean, at least this is a snowmobile trail, which isn't too deep. But uh, uh, there have been some spots where I was down past my knee. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, it's a future mic here. Um, yeah, I forgot to, you know, finish the video from Pinawa. Um, anyway, um, that's it, folks. Uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, have a good evening. Ciao, folks. <laughs>